Good afternoon, everyone. This is Preston Burnett. The first system is by Total Energy. This system uses a blue flame stoker boiler. This is a chain grate combustion system that generates hot water. It is a standard off-the-shelf biomass combustion unit that has been slightly modified for poultry litter. This unit's output has a capacity between 1.5 and 2 million BTUs per hour for this site. There are larger sizes available. This unit has approximately an 8 to 1 turndown ratio, meaning it uses poultry litter house temperatures to control the feed rate of the boiler, which controls the heat output. When the house calls for more heat, the boiler ramps up. When the house calls for less heat, the boiler ramps down. The heating in the houses uses a hydronic system using Cubo brand heaters in the houses. These are, these are a radiator style heater. Hill Energy currently has two poultry litter fueled systems in operation in the U.S., both on farms in Pennsylvania. One unit has approximately five years run time, while the second unit has approximately two years running time. This system has been proven to work on poultry farms. However, it requires total flock cleanout between every flock, with new bedding added between flocks. This is done to maintain good fuel quality of the poultry litter. One farmer is experimenting with growing his own bedding instead of using wood shavings. He's growing stale Moscantus gigantus, which according to studies is a non-invasive species. Uh, this system currently uses cyclones to control particulate emissions. The next, it, next <coughs> system is by Ingenuity Eco Remedy System. This is a chain grate air blown gasification system that combusts the gases in a boiler to generate hot water. I don't have time to go into detail concerning the definitions of gasification, combustion, and paralysis. The big difference with this unit is that combustion of the synthesis gas occurs in a separate chamber from the gasification process. The gas is created from the gasification section, <clears throat> which is the chain grate section, travel to a top chamber where additional combustion air is added for complete combustion. Then the hot flue gases travel to the boiler to generate hot water. This system is a fixed heat grate system with an output of output range of 800,000 to 1.2 million BTUs an hour. It utilizes a large heat dump, which is a large outdoor radiator, to control the amount of heat provided to the poultry houses. This again is another hydronic heating system which utilizes Lanmeco brand heaters in the houses, another radiator style heater. The system is designed to accept the poultry litter in the as-is condition. The system was designed for 1.2 million BTUs an hour output. However, during the project, the poultry grower converted from conventional broiler production to organic, which resulted in an increase in the moisture value of the poultry litter. As a result of the higher moisture content in the poultry litter, system is currently producing only 800,000 million, uh, sorry, 800,000 BTUs per hour. This is the only current system operating on poultry litter by Ingenuity. It is the second Ingenuity unit using manure as fuel in the U.S. Both units were installed at about the same time in the U.S. and this current system only has one winter flock of operation time. It also uses cyclones to control particulate matter. This next system is by LEI. The LEI has a the BD500, roughly 500,000 BTUs an hour output. So the, uses, the fuel is augered into the combustion chamber where it falls into a grate and is mechanically stirred. Combustion air enters into the chamber, and then the hot blue gases flow through the boiler and into a cyclone. This unit is rated for 500,000 BTUs an hour output maximum. LEI offers different sizes ranging anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000 BTUs an hour output. These units were initially designed for woody biomass at the speed stock and has been used on the farm with woody biomass for the past three years. The unit recently was modified to accept poultry litter as the fuel. The modifications focused on material handling and, in particular, the higher ash production expected with poultry litter compared to woody biomass. Wood has an ash content of 1 to 3 percent by weight. Poultry litter has an ash content of 10 to 20 percent by weight. The system produces hot water, which is used to heat the farmer's turkey brooding house. The unit will modulate the output according to the parameters set by the farmer, which include water temperature and or the combustion temperature. The farmer had previously installed a radiant floor heating system to distribute heat in the house. Excuse me, the house. The house is only used for brooding turkeys and almost always needs heat. The farmer try, tries to maintain a house temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit during the first week or so of the flock. Again, uses a cyclone for large particulate matter, and the vendor designed a wet scrubber for the remaining particulate matter. The next system is a by Global Refuel from Wayne Combustion. 
Prior to the Farm Manured Energy Initiative project, this unit had been in operation on a poultry farm in Indiana for over a year. However, performance evaluation through this project suggests that this technology is not ready for commercial deployment because there have been numerous, numerous technical problems that have resulted in unexpected shutdowns. <clears throat> this is a unique combustion system. Unlike the other systems, the system is a hot air system. This is a box and a box design. The inner box is the combustion chamber. Air flows around the combustion chamber, picks up heat, and is delivered to the houses via ductwork as seen in the picture. Look right behind the turkeys and see the ductwork. Notice the system is located <clears throat> between the two houses in this picture. Unlike other systems that uses hot water, which can easily be pumped long distances, this system needs to be close to the house or houses to reduce the length of ductwork. This system has a supply and return ductwork as seen in this picture, with only one supply and return per house. Initial performances suggest that this heat delivery system, which uses the house's existing ventilation system to distribute heat throughout the house, was successful in keeping house temperatures within the prescribed ranges. This picture shows a global refuel system that's inside the shed beside the poultry house. What you don't see is the ductwork buried under the road to the second house just outside the picture. This was done to maintain a road between the houses for truck access. The next system is a Biomass Heating Solution Limited System, or BHSL. This is a fluidized combustion system that generates hot water to heat the houses. The system has four systems operating on boiler farms in Europe. They re recently signed a contract with Cargill to build a large system on a 16-house poultry farm in the UK. They are currently <clears throat> working in the first US installation on poultry farm in Maryland with construction anticipated to start this year. These systems have been operating on poultry farms in the UK we're going on four years. It uses, utilizes a cyclone and then a baghouse to control particulate matter emissions. In the UK, poultry growers clean out houses between every flock. The US system will be the first unit installed to use poultry litter as traditionally produced in the US, meaning whole house cleanouts every few years, crusting between each flock. I want to thank you so much for your time, and I'll be glad to provide any more details about these systems and other manure energy systems uh, after the webinar. Thank you for listening and look forward to your questions at the end.